Countless champions have been crowned throughout the history of competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! But what about the underdogs, the dark horses, the decks that upon first glance make you question everything you thought you knew about the game? In this series, both MBT and myself will be showcasing some of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s wackiest unsung heroes. Each episode will feature new decks, new strategies, and the results will be unpredictable. You've seen the history of Yu-Gi-Oh!, but this is the history of Jank. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Yeah! 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 Alright, week two in the tank and we're already seeing progress. I mean, look at this! I'm tanner than before. God, we gotta start lifting. Anyway, here's the wheel. So we are in GOAT format for one more episode, testing out the decks you see in front of you. Now, we are not going to leave GOAT format after this one. We'll do one additional one. But for that one, we don't want to just exclude decks that saw high-level representation. We want to exclude decks that saw mid-level representation, low-level representation in pretty much any GOAT format event ever. That's right, we are going to be scraping the absolute bottom of the barrel for playables. Now, if you have a GOAT deck that you have put a lot of time and effort into, but not so much time and effort that you've seen any results, send it to me on Twitter and we'll consider them for the next episode. That's at MBT Yu-Gi-Oh. So, these are the six we're looking at today. Zork Returns once again, a ritual deck that aims to make Dark Master Zork the antagonist of Season 5 of Yu-Gi-Oh. Library FTK is a good deck. I'm not going to be spinning for this, and I don't think Simo is either. We're going to do everything in our power to avoid playing it. Library FTK is a really ridiculous reversal quiz deck that aims to use Royal Magical Library to draw out your entire deck, and it is staggeringly easy to do so. The reason this deck isn't very well represented in GOAT format is about Rule Zero. Now, if you're not familiar with Rule Zero, it is a holdover from Commander, a Magic the Gathering format, and it basically says that the rules aren't set in stone. While a deck may technically be legal, if it makes your playgroup uncomfortable or hate your fucking guts, then you all as a collective can decide to ban it as a house rule. And as a result, Library FTK usually doesn't show up for sportsmanship reasons. Zombie is still around, as is Gravekeeper, which plays itself, and Water, which gets a little better in Reaper format, so I'm going to be avoiding that for now, but will be trying for it in the future. But what I'm really trying to play is Machine. Imagine normal summoning an X-Head Cannon. I certainly am excited for it. So we've got two spins, let's see what we can get. Okay, I made a mistake not playing this earlier. Let's play some Zork. Well, last episode was pretty fun, don't you think? We're not in the jank tank, and Joseph's probably having an aneurysm knowing he wasn't able to clench out two wins playing Pac-Man. Who'd have thought? But here we are once again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of the History of Jank. The wheel is slowly running out of options. We actually added something new. So I decided to remove Aggro Bomb from the wheel because the Rescue Cat list was like sort of a Rescue Cat Aggro Bomb hybrid deck because it's side decked into it. And so we actually replaced it with another jank deck, although it's a very powerful jank deck in Library FTK. I'll be honest, I'm probably going to avoid spinning this because it is janky, like let's be honest, but it's not exactly the most fun thing to watch, although it would severely piss Joseph off if we did spin this and we were able to resolve it. Let's go ahead and just spin the wheel. Let's see what we get. We've got three spins and hopefully... Oh, I really want Zork. I really, really want Zork. I think that would be so much fun. Let's see. Hmm. Water is a cool deck. I We're going to see probably several water decks by the time we're done with this, not just from this era, but from later eras as well. They do actually look different as new sets obviously get introduced. I'm going to respin. I'm happy to play water, but I, I really want to play Zork. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> oh, it's slowing down. Oh, 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 oh. Yes! So here's the list. This comes to us courtesy of GoatFormat.com's YouTube channel, and I gotta tell you, this list looks like 
trash. It looks like garbage, absolute dog water, but that makes it perfect for this series. So Dark Master Zork, if you're unfamiliar, is a very weird card. Eight star ritual monster can be summoned with contract with the Dark Master and once per turn allows you to roll a die. If you get a one or a two, blow up your opponent's entire monster lineup. If you roll a three, four or five, blow up one monster they control. And if you roll a six, you'll lose your entire board. Just don't roll a six. Easy as that. Like Relinquished run a lot of chaos monsters, it turns out the fact that there's no good light monsters in GOAT is radically changed if you get to play cards like Manju and Senju, but we're playing a lot of cards that Relinquished isn't. Triple Thunder Dragon, because it fulfills the cost on its own and is a light monster in Graveyard. The Masked Beast, for scenarios where you already have both halves of the combo, you just need tribute material, he's a dark one. And Triple Sukiyomi, because this deck has a real problem against Thousand Eyes Restrict. Plus, we need more dark guys. Outside of that, we're playing cards like Threatening Roar and Wabaku, because Zork gets a lot better if your opponent overcommits. In the side deck, we're on Brain Control, Triple Dust, Tornado, a Mirror Force, a Ring of Destruction, three Royal Decree, three Sakuratsu Armor, and a Torrential Tribute. And in the main, we're on BLS, Breaker of the Magical Warrior, three Chaos Orc, three Manju, three Senju, three Sonic Bird, probably too many, three Thunder Dragon, three Sukiyomi, three Zork, one Mast Beast, three Contract, Delinquent Duo, Graceful Charity, Heavy Storm, Mystical Space Typhoon, Pot of Greed, Premature Burial, Snatch Deal, three Threatening, and three Wabaku. So, let's jump into the game. And let's not roll any sixes, all right? Wow. Just look at it. Isn't it magnificent? Isn't it glorious? We are about to commit a sin, ladies and gentlemen, because we are bringing Dark Master Zork to today's duel. Now, if you've never read Zork, Zork is a ritual monster that reads, once per turn, you can roll a six-sided die, then destroy all monsters your opponent controls if you roll a one or two, destroy one monster if you roll a three, four, or five, or the biggest downside, and what's most likely going to happen to me if I actually get to summon this, is if you roll a six, you destroy all monsters you control, and that also includes Zork. So, five out of six chance that you won't blow up your own board. I mean, that seems pretty good, and 2700 attack to boot, it's a pretty interesting card. So, we've played Ritual decks in the past, we played the Relinquished deck actually in episode one, but here we are, episode three, Zork's getting brought out, this is going to be a disaster. So, let's do the card by card, you know BLS is the game ender, break as the spell and trap breaker the chaos sorcerers are in here just to give us something else to do we have some chaos synergy in here we have the manjus and the senjus and the sonic birds to search our ritual monsters and spells manju can search either senju can only search the ritual monster and sonic bird can only search the ritual spell but as long as we get to what we need that is all that matters three thunder dragon it puts some lights in the grave but also gives us some fodder for graceful charity it also gives us ritual fodder as well for some of these ritual spells so at the very least thunder dragon has some more purpose as it would typically in other decks. Three copies of Sukiyomi. This is a nice way just to deal with on-field threats and just a good card all around. It's also a dark. One of the largest issues with this deck is that there's actually a lack of dark monsters that you would just willingly throw away onto the board. Sukiyomi is one of them though, so that's pretty nice. Three copies of Zork and one copy of, I shit you not, the Masked Beast. The only reason this is in here, because if you notice, there is no ritual spell to summon this card. The only purpose this serves is that that if you search it off of a Senju or a Manju, you can use it to fulfill the ritual summoning condition for Zork off of a single card, which actually is not bad, so that way you're not committing multiple cards into it, but that's the only reason this card is in here. It's just hilarious that Masked Beast is in a deck whatsoever. For the spells, three contract with the Dark Master. This is just your typical ritual spell to summon Zork. Delinquent Duo, Graceful Charity, Heavy Storm, Mystical Space Typhoon, Pot of Greed, Premature Burial, Snatch Deal, your typical good stuff goat staples. And then the traps, three threatening roar, three waboku. We are just trying to not die. So we are able to summon these and hopefully win off of the back of that. The side deck is a very interesting one. So three copies of yes, Karibo. So the theory with Karibo is that it effectively solves the same issue as Threatening War or Waboku, where you're trying to preserve your life total so that you're able to actually get these win conditions off. However, Karibo is actually a dark, and as a result of that, it gives you fodder in the graveyard so that way you're able to go into your chaos monsters like Chaos Sark, like BLS, because we have a lot of lights and we don't have many darks, so this actually gives us a few more darks to work with, and Maybe that's good. We'll have to see. 
three brain control. What's better than ritual summoning? How about ritual summoning with your opponent's monster? So that's why I have this in here. Three fulfillment of the contract. This is literally premature burial, but for ritual monsters, we have to have properly ritual summon the monster first if we want to actually resurrect it. But if we get a Zork on the field, this basically means we're playing four copies of premature burial. And I think that's actually pretty nice. One big downside is if this card is destroyed, you banish the equipped monster. So if Joseph has a way to destroy this and not Zork, then the Zork's going to get banished and we have to start from square one. But it is a way to constantly keep the threat recurring. So that's not the worst. Three true nade to clear the way so we can actually ritual summon and not fear stuff like any back row Joseph might be on. A mirror force, a ring of destruction, and a torrential tribute rounding out our side deck. Just some good stuff traps to throw in here. Maybe stall the game out a little bit. And let's be honest, we could win with ring of destruction just by itself. So guys, I don't have a lot of faith in this episode. I think most likely I will be in the jank tank after this, but honestly, I don't give a fuck because if we can beat Joseph with Zork, with Zork, I won. I just, I won. It's, it's over. I just won the entire series forever because he will never be able to live this down. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to duel. Joseph, buddy, uh, <laughs> here we are once again. What's, what's History wrong, buddy? of Jake. You got, a, oh you my got something God. to say? Listen up. Uh, if you get a heavy storm in your opener again, it's over for you. <laughs> Is it? Is it? Is that what it's all contingent upon? Well, you'll know because apparently my tell is that it's interesting when I draw heavy storm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm, I'm exciting, pretty. Though. I'm pretty excited. I'm happy with that. The way that last one turned out. I'm glad I got to express my absolute dominance over you for an entire game before I got wiped off the face of the fucking planet. <laughs> Uh, That's hopefully what I said too. that does not happen here. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, anything's possible in history of jank. And for people who might be wondering what happens after we have completely diluted the wheel of options, uh, guess what? We have plenty more options to choose from as we either progress forward in the timeline or we evaluate the more modern evolutions of GOAT format, which we might do because... Joseph and I were looking at some of these other decks they're that we so could bad. have on the wheel. And they're so bad. <laughs> they're bad. But oh, they're bad. in the spirit of history of jank, that might be exactly what you guys want to see because you're all a bunch of sick fucks. Anyway, Joseph, are you ready? I am ready. Okay, well, Rock, Paper, Scissors is up. Let's shout out the patron. It is Jane Eubank. Thank you for the support, Jane. How many refreshes, buddy? Let me get one for every game Pac-Man won last match. So one. So one. So one, yes. <laughs> all right. Okay. And you know what, buddy? Congratulations. There we go. This it is my like first win all... in months. <laughs> oh, my It just God. took you losing in order to win the rock, paper, scissors. All right. Praying here that you are not playing the same deck as me. I can't lose this one. Oh, my God. I started this series off with Pot of Greed, Graceful Charity. If I lose this one, <laughs> I... This... <sighs> Oh my god, this this hand is unbeatable. Oh man. Okay. okay, let's see how unbeatable it is. We'll begin with a Thunder Dragon. Sure. All right, I'm going to add two Thunder Dragon from my deck to my hand. Makes sense. This is, you know, goat format classic here. All right, then we're going to pot of gross, and then you're going to graceful charity, get rid of the Thunder Dragon. Better. I'm going to delinquent do. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, right. uh, roll it. This might give it away. Beep, 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 beep. It actually doesn't give it away because it's a Sukiyomi. What are you discarding? I think whatever I discard will give it away. <laughs> However, <laughs> well, buddy, I think the card I'm going to discard is the Masked Beast. No. <laughs> we played a mirror, buddy? We might be. Oh, God. <laughs> I saw Thunder Dragon and I'm like, holy shit, it's so happening. All right. Uh, first in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! and the history of Jank, the Dark Master Zork Mirror. And you are on eight cards to my four. Anyone's game, I will draw. <laughs> Holy Not shit. Not like this, dude. There was so much... Uh, to be fair, what else were we supposed to play? The library FTK? Right. Yeah, I mean, there was options. There was options, but this was definitely the funniest. Okay, so if I know your list, your back row is either a Woboku or a Threatening Roar, because it's basically all there is. Well, if I know that's what it is, I'm just going to run out send you. <laughs> yeah, sure. I have no problem with that. <laughs> yeah, let's grab another Zork. And uh, I'll go to the battle phase. Uh, actually... 
Oh, you only have light. Yeah, we'll attack. This is kind of bad for me because I don't want you to have a light and a dark in the graveyard, but, you know, no no way to really play around it. Go ahead. All right, I'll draw for turn. Stand by me. All good. I love how good Thunder Dragon is in this deck because you can use the Thunder Dragons as ritual fodder for Zork. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I'm going to go for Manchu. Sure. And oh, you've got the combo. We might be doing that right now. Uh, I'm going to add Contract be. with the Dark Master to hand. I don't know. I kind of want to be reactive with it. That sounds so bad. <laughs> But think of all the damage, Joseph. I know, there's a lot of damage. And what are you gonna do, right? You're gonna Zork and then roll a six? Yeah, I'm I'm confident. All right, let's okay, send these uh, sure. Thundras to the graveyard. Go for DM Zork. And then it's combat time, baby. You know I'm getting in for 14. You know I'm getting in for 27. I'll take the 41. And now I'm thinking about activating the effect of Dark Master Zork here. If you want to, I mean, be my guest. I didn't I'll think draw. about it for very long. No, nah, of course not. Now, if I know your list, I know you don't have removal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> shit. Okay, let's try for a breaker. That's fine. I'm gonna pop what I presume to be a Waboku or a Threatening Roar. It is a Threatening, I'll chain it. Okay, chain it so no battle will be occurring. If I don't do anything here and you successfully resolve Zork, I'm dead. However, there is a one in six chance that I just don't die immediately. <laughs> God. That is true, you are right. How confident am I? How confident am I? Three other cards. You could just have another way to get a monster on the field. If you attack into Breaker, I take 1100. And then that puts me dead to uh, exactly another Manju or a Senju. So I don't like those odds. I'm going to snatch steal your Zork. Oh no. Yeah, you could have him. Now, now will you do be I want to fire this effect? <laughs> Oh, God. Not so easy now, okay. is it? I do want to clear Manju so you don't have as much ritual fodder because one of the things is that if you don't have another way to summon Zork, you can't really clean my board up. So as bad as this might be, I'm going to roll it. Okay, come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. Come on. Oh, oh okay. thank fucking God. Okay, so we roll the five, so we do get to pop the Manju. Uh, Threatening Roar is still active, so I will have to pass the turn here. Go ahead. Stand by me. Just gonna set one and pass. Okay, so that's another Threatening Roar slash Waboku, something that's gonna protect you. Main one. Um, yes, you gain your thousand from Snatch Steel. Good. Obviously, I remembered. Go to battle phase. Yep. Uh, we'll attack. Yeah, I'll take it. 1600. And 27. Yep. Sounds good. Second main. I'm going to normal summon Tsukiyomi targeting Zork. Oh god, what happens? Uh, it sets, but I get to keep it. Sure, that's fine. And then end phase, I will put Tsukiyomi back in my hand. You have a window. What's the defense on Zork? Zork is 1500 defense. What the hell? That's so, that's so low. <laughs> it's low. Uh, unfortunately, I do not have have a very good play here. I'll set one. There's actually not many cards in our deck that can, you. it's like Breaker or maybe Chaos Monster that can actually hit over Zork's defense, I think. Yep. I'll try. Stand by main. Okay. Uh, well, I will flip the Zork. I'm representing lethal here, so you do have to do something about it. Do have a threatening. Sure, of course. Uh, I will proceed to second main. I'm going to Manju. I will use the Manju to grab my own copy of... Contract with the Dark Master. Oh, God. Are we getting double Zork here? Uh, no, we're just passing. Go ahead. All right. Stand by me. All good. Hmm. Well, I've waited as long as I can. I'll begin with a copy of Snatch Steel, targeting the Dark Master. Here we go. He's back in your possession. I will give it over to you. Have fun. Okay, if I get a one or a two, you are so fucking toast. Oh, you're dead. You're so dead. But if you get a six. <laughs> I am aware of the consequences of getting a six. Anime protagonist powers. I call upon the... <laughs> I call upon the power of my millennium ring. Here we go. <sighs> Whew. Okay. Okay, it's a five. Uh, I imagine you'd want to kill Breaker here. Yep. Yes. Okay. Hmm. Now what do I do? This is a close game, actually. <laughs> this is scary. It's not that close. I'll normal summon Manju. Yeah, never mind. I'll use its not effect close. in order to get uh, Dark Master Zork. Do you have a contract? Do you have a contract to grave? Okay. And we'll summon Dark Master Zork. And, Are you going to uh, use the effect? I will not be using the effect. Instead, I'll be banishing a light and a dark. We'll just get ourselves uh, a chaos. Oh, fuck. Oh, yep. God. No die rolls necessary. Get that boy out of yep. there and let's get in. That's going to do it. Yep. Good game. Good game.
Of course it's a mirror, Joseph. Of course it's a fucking mirror match I of all things. I think that game was determinative. We have found the true master of Dark Master Zork. Evidently. I was, you know, you were one six away from everything <laughs> just going wrong. And uh, uh, I was too, true. to that be fair. True. I think uh, yeah. we are going to see that happen again in game two. I think so. I think our luck might catch up to us. And maybe this time you won't open Pot of Greed, Delinquent Duo, Thunder Dragon. Let's hope yeah, for the this best. Was Good a, luck, buddy. This was a really fun game that I think we did forget just began with me opening the two most broken cards of the universe. Yeah, and surprisingly, I was still actually in it to a degree. Don't know how that happened, but I guess that's goats. Uh, main one, uh, I'm gonna start like you did with Thunder Dragon. Go ahead, buddy. Add one Thunder Dragon. You wanna you wanna fill up your graveyard. So you wanna add one and then pitch it for the third one. Trust me, I used to exactly. play Thunder Dragon at TCG. This is what old, you're supposed old to do. Old school Thunder Dragon strats, absolutely. Then you send uh, the I will third not be doing that, though. For no reason. Just to get more lights in the grave so I can just drop three Chaos Monsters exactly. on you. I will go ahead and bring out a Sonic Bird. Well, that's not a light or a dark, so I don't care. It is not. That is correct. Uh, we will grab the Contract... Mm -hmm. And I will set one card and pass it over to you. I wonder what that set card is. Could be anything. All right, we're going to do the same thing. Thunder Dragon time. All right, uh, just like you, I'm going to normal summon a Sonic Bird. Okay, someone has the Zork in their hand. And I'll go ahead and grab the contract. I want to believe that that set card is a Threatening Roar or a Waboku. However, there's another option, and that is... You have too many cards in your hand, and you didn't want to discard the contract to hand size. So I'm going to say that that's what it is, and I'm going to try to go to battle. Yeah, we can crash. That's fine. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. I'll go to main phase two, and I'll uh, I'll set one card. <laughs> Could be anything. <laughs> this is this is definitely live. Go go ahead. All right. I'll draw. Yep. Uh, we'll go to main one. This is scary because I feel like whoever blinks first loses. You know, if one of us starts committing a bunch of crap, then the other one has just a bunch of reactive stuff to be able to respond to it. All right. I'm going to lead with a send you. Yeah. Go ahead, buddy. I mean, we all know that we're going to be able to. One thing I love about this deck is you never don't have Zork. Like, Zork is always right. online. It's just a question of uh, if you're fucked. You know what? I'm going to go for it. I'll bring out the I'll bring out the boy. All right. Pitch in the Thundress. Let's go. Let's go. Do you got wanna, anything? Do you want to roll the dice? I got nothing now. Uh, I, I would not like to roll the die. I would like to see your threat anymore. I don't have it. I'll take 14 and 27. Okay. And uh, second main. I'll just pass it over. Go ahead. Draw for turn. Stand by main. Time to see you do the exact same play I just made, except you can actually wipe my board. <laughs> Mine's going to be a little better because I think that I'm invisible. Uh, God damn yep. it. Wait, this whole deck is bad cards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, I do have it. I have. Well, of course I have it. Of course you have it. That's not the issue with this deck. The issue is that you're playing it, not that you can get to it. <laughs> Here we go. I'll activate contract. Okay, sure. I'm going to send the Mast Beast. That's a good one. Now I have to use one card for that. Here he comes. And with priority. <sighs> I'm going to go for the effect. Six. Zork. Six. six. Zork, six. please. Six. Zork. Six. It's six. my birthday, Zork. Six. Oh, no! my God. Get absolutely fucking butt blasted, buddy. Get him out of here. Fuck oh, my God. Off. What a crazy play. Wow. All right. Uh, I'm going to normal summon Manju as well. I, I didn't think yeah. I'd get this far. Let's get another Very contract. This so is... I know your hand is contract double thunder dragon. Uh, do you have another Zork? That would be sick, right? Nah, I'll be. just go to combat. Uh, I will take the 14. And the 27? Uh, do you have a Sakuretsu I'm armor? Going, I'm going to pitch Karibo you, for this Zork. Where did you find this fucking list playing Karibo? <laughs> oh my god. All right, go ahead. Think about it, buddy. Think about it, buddy. We're playing Threatening Roar. We're playing Waboku. This is those cards, except it's a dark. I'm not thinking about that shit at all. Fuck you. Okay, well, I'm going to brain control. Control. Yeah, that's not good. There I'm going to take go. your Zork. Uh, and then I'm also going to Snatch Steel, take your Manju. All right. And we are going to give that over. Okay. Now, the question is, are you playing Karibo? <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, shit. If you're playing Karibo, this is going to be very bad, potentially. Uh, I think I have to go for it, though. So, YOLO. Let's see it. I am not. All right, let's go oh, to game thank three. God. Thank fucking God. All right. Karibo. 
You gonna fu you fucking beat me with Karibo? You gonna beat me with Karibo? Wow! I I, I didn't knew... beat you with Karibo. I beat you with brain control. I, Let's I be knew real. that a cowardly duelist such as yourself would have to rely on such format wow. defining staples as Karibo in order to win games. You know, I have to steal all of my monsters that I worked hard for. You know, I, mm -hmm. I pulled myself up on my bootstraps and I built that board just for you to take it out from under me. <sighs> you know, the rich get richer. I know? guess. I, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I don't know. I opened Pot of Greed and Lost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. And also, you know, if Karibo is good enough to beat Seto Kaiba, it's good enough to beat you as well. I suppose. So congratulations, so. buddy. Let's make it a game three scenario. Let's see what I can pull. Good luck to you, right. jerk. Good luck, buddy. Let's see it. Oh, 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 oh fuck. Let me guess. Your hand is three Zorks and a Masked Beast. You're <laughs> It's not, not a good one. Not a good one. We'll draw. This is, see, this doesn't this doesn't mean that much. I, I'm not like there's a lot of cards that you could play. You just want me to play first, so I will bite. I'll play Sonic Bird. Yeah, whatever. Okay, let's grab our contract, and then I will go to battle for 14. Absolutely, buddy, you got it. Second main, I will set one, and I will pass. Let's see it. What are you hiding back there, buddy? I don't trust you. I've played too many games with you to know that you don't have a completely cracked hand. So let's see it. what you're talking about. Let's go for a Sonic Bird. Sonic Bird's fine. Sonic Bird's fine. We'll grab a contract. Sure. Eh, I don't know. Let's walk in. Sure. We'll crash. Interesting. <laughs> go ahead. Could be anything. Uh, we'll go to main one. Uh, let's bring out a Senju. Also fine. <laughs> I have no qualms with Senju. Senju is a good friend of mine. Many of my personal friends search a ritual monster from deck to hand on summon. Let's grab a copy of Masked Beast. I see. Uh, do I want to commit further Will is the question. Yeah, I, you know I have it considering I searched Masked Beast. <laughs> Maybe you just really like the artwork of the Masked Beast. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, he just, Maybe. he looks so good. What I like about this card is he definitely is a Masked Beast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, try I'm trying to think descriptive. of, I think of a Very compliment to give the guy, but I, I just can't. <laughs> Let's go to battle. Hit for 14. Absolutely. Uh, oh, you're up, buddy. Go ahead. Stand by me. All good. It's a weird hand. <laughs> All right. Good. Uh, we're going to pitch a Thunder Dragon. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. The only problem with this is that I'm not going to have a lot of cards afterwards. <laughs> Uh, or I'm sorry, I'm gonna have too many cards after this, so we may have to do something here. I really don't want to commit a Zork. I really don't want to commit a Zork, dude. I don't know how long Senju Beats is gonna be able to keep it up. Okay, I'll bite. Woo, Curse Seal of the Forbidden we're, Spell. Now, could you imagine? We're going for that, it. That'd be over. We'll bring out the Zork. Yep, Zork's fine. Uh, show me the Threatening War. I have it. Okay. So no damage there. Uh, second main. Now you may proceed to wreck me with my own Zork. Trying. Stand by. Main. All good. Heavy. Yep. Uh, yeah, sure. You got my torrential. Wow, that is really good luck. Okay, graceful charity. Gross. Off yep. the top, baby. Oh. Of course. Oh. Of course. You've had how many staples at this point to to the, the like the one that I've gotten? I don't know what you're so upset about. I mean, I personally don't. Mind yeah. Probably. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, whatever. Uh, okay, thinking here. I have to do math. You have to have the full combo at this point. I do, and I can kill you, but if you have a fucking Karibo. <laughs> <laughs> discarding a Chaos Sork. That's that's number one. I'm discarding a Senju. That gives you the Chaos Fodder. Yep. Let's go Manju here. Get your search. Sure. I will grab the Mass Beast. Okay, so you already have the Zork. I guess I want the Zork, actually. Who gives a fuck if I had the Mast Beast or the Zork? So you have Zork, Zork, the spell, and probably a Chaos Monster of some sort. Oh, fucking Christ, dude. <laughs> and you already have the Chaos Typings in Graveyard, so if you have a Chaos Monster, which you do, then uh, we are just fucked. All right, doing more math. I'm 300 off lethal. You've got to be kidding me. Really? Oh my God. That, to be fair, that makes me dead to literally anything. <laughs> no, no, no. Let me be more specific, Alex. Okay. I'm 300 off lethal unless I roll a die. Oh, okay. I like where this is going. I, I don't. <laughs> It's a it's a 12.5% chance. All I have to do is not roll a six. It's like a 16.6% .6 chance. It's not one in eight, but. I mean, there's no way, right? There's no way. Is it really gonna be dictated? I mean, to be fair, you, you know, Karibo is, yeah. you. yeah, I was gonna say, so there's still that. Okay, brain control. Right, you gonna going take the Zork? Give me the Zork. 
Zork, please. Oh my god. It, it's bound to come up eventually. It's bound to come up eventually. My millennium ring. I beg of you. It is my birthday. And I'm just a little boy. Please. Please. Oh, oh thank god. Oh, you got two board wipes in the whole match. That's crazy. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Zork, Zork. Uh, and then Sork, Sork. Zork, Zork, Sork, Sork. All right. Let's go for it. Uh... 14, 27, 27, 23. Do you have it? I don't know, buddy. Do I have it? Do you have it? I don't know, buddy. Do I have Do it? Do you have it? Come on! <laughs> what if I told you that my hand currently consists of a BLS oh. and a premature burial for the crackback? <laughs> <laughs> How does that make you feel, buddy? It makes me feel, feel like feel? if and you have it, I'm dead. Not to mention, not to mention, hold on, hold on, hold on. The Zork comes back to me. It's not snatch steel, it's brain controlled. So I get the Zork back. I'm aware. <laughs> you know, two of the cards in my hand are Thunder Dragons. <laughs> The last card in my hand, Joseph Rothschild, is Contact ah! with the Dark Master. <laughs> oh! oh! I have to clean up uh, right under my uh, my chair real quick. I have, I have shat. If you were paying attention, you should have known that Zor- Oh no, I searched I, I one. That's right. Never mind. You didn't know I had two. Oh my god. What an abysmal fucking match. <laughs> Ooh. Holy shit. That was fun. That was fun. I, I am very sad that I had Torrential instead of Threatening War because had I had Threatening War, I would have won the game. But uh, you also would have just not committed at that point, too. Uh, so maybe that wouldn't have been true. I don't know. You had uh, a BLS. Oh, Christ. Yeah, I did have a BLS, but what were the last two in your hand? Were they anything? Uh, it's Sork and Contract number two. Uh, there's, oh, yeah, another call. Okay. There's a line where I can get the other Sork online. The idea was if Zork rolls... A six, while he's the only monster on the field, I get the other Sork out, and it doesn't matter. But I couldn't do it without also normaling the Manju, which puts me under the damage threshold. So I was like, right. awesome. I, I guess see. I just lose to a six. Yeah. And, you know, it's unfortunate that we didn't get to see a six play out. But, I mean, I to be fair, that kudos to Zork. We got to see the effect resolve, like, what, four times this entire match? None of us missed. <sighs> And it was, you know, basically game winning when it resolved. <laughs> wow. Um, so, uh, fuck this. Uh, I am, I'm glad that if we were going to have a mirror, it was this one. Because this is the funniest mirror I could possibly have imagined. Better than, oh, absolutely. like, ima library FTK versus this. Not a watchable match. But Zork v. No. Zork. I'll sit the fuck down for that. Oh, oh everyone's going to sit the fuck down for this. This was hysterical. Uh I don't know where you... What, so what cards were you side decking? Because this deck did actually not come with a side deck. Uh, so I'm curious where you got the, your other cards for this. Happy to hear that. That means that we uh, looked at two completely different uh, lists. I used okay. a uh, list from the GOAT format YouTube where they were just testing it uh, on ladder. Um, it did come with a side deck, and it was boarding mostly the powerful trap staples that you would expect. Sacks, Mirror Forces, Ring of Destruction, Torrential. Plus, uh, it had a Royal Decree set up as well. Um, in game okay. two, I boarded into all of those powerful traps. The Sacks, the Mirror Forces, the Ring of the Destructions. And then immediately realized how fucking bad they are in the mirror. <laughs> they are miser- I was like, well, he can blow up my monsters. He can't blow up my spell traps. Who cares? Unless it's exactly Mirror Force, one Sack isn't going to do too much against you. Threatening roar is way better because it forces you to actually commit to monsters on field which can then be zorked so for game three right. i just boarded the fuck out and boarded into brain controls so my theory was so where i got my side deck was later on in a video on goat format in youtube they actually discussed why you use karibo over like waboku or threatening roar because of what i said earlier where it's actually a dark and this deck actually can have a difficult time getting darks into the grave because aside from like the ritual monsters exactly your only other dark in the main deck is sukiyomi it can be difficult to actually meet that threshold since we're playing the bls and the triple chaos sork and so i kind of like the theory and so i figured i'd throw them into the side and then i was just playing the brain controls like your brain control in this matchup is just crazy just actually crap. it's just like 
it's so good yeah you got to use it i got to use it and basically it won us the game both times mm -hmm. and then the rest of my side deck i put in some of the good stuff like just generic good traps like the torrential the ring uh i think i put mirror force in as well the theory with torrential and why i kept it in was i figured that you figured that i was just going to have threatening wars and wobokus mm -hmm. so why would he keep any why would you keep any of those cards in which means heavy storm and any of the spell and trap removal is actually dead so with that being the case i kept torrential in thinking you would play into it that would allow me to tip the board back around and that way i can make a counter push to your push and honestly had you not had heavy storm in this particular instance that would have just literally lost you the game that's um uh, this is one of those situations where next leveling only works if your opponent is operating exactly one level yep. ahead of you uh my thought yep. process for keeping in heavy storm and mst was damn that card destroys all spell traps <laughs> like, I, I didn't it didn't even register i was like i did something i could take out um no 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 uh i i did i was like i guess there's utility like because game two he set up fucking brain control and we can at least sniff out like a bait but yeah i should right. have boarded out of them and that should have won you the game and it didn't because i'm bad <laughs> that... i mean i guess i mean in all fairness to mystical space typhoon heavy storm can break a premature burial or a snatch deal and that's right. really strong especially mst being able to do it on the opponent's turn so i don't think you know, you'd ever I boarded... board out of mst but heavy storm is a little sus for sure i i boarded out of both because i figure you know whatever i'd rather just have more of these other cards in here just to give them a shot the brain control especially i just thought that was too good in this matchup not to play so i think that was like my my first cards that I swapped into the side. But uh, I like that we at least had, you know, some relatively different side decking plans, even though our decks were literally identical. This is as much of a mirror match as it possibly gets. But this was a lot of fun. This, you know, this there was this ass. element of randomness where we could just lose the game immediately at any moment that actually didn't come to fruition. But we had to account for that in whatever plays that we did. And I guess it was maybe only fun because it was a mirror and like we're both just like staring at each other kind of trying to like incrementally push our advantage and then like try to just go out in like a big blaze of glory just hoping not to run into a threatening war or something mm -hmm. uh maybe if this was a zork v any other deck sort of match it may not have played out the same way but uh at the very least this was very entertaining and i'm glad that it, it played out the way that it did there is a lot of stuff in here that like the deck is really light on dark monsters uh because it kind of has to be greedy and because it expects right. the zork to go to the graveyard like there's so many removal spells in this format that we're just not fucking playing uh right. and it's on three main deck sukiyomi for like uh thousand eyes restrict purposes uh nope not a problem in the mirror so nope not only that you can actually flip summon uh senju and right. sonic bird and and they actually get uh value so you're able to just keep generating pluses off of that i also just love that this deck is non-ironically playing the masked beast as a fourth ritual monster to search so that you only need to commit one card into dark master zork because one of the biggest issues with this deck is compared to a deck like Relinquish, which we played in episode one, Relinquish is one star. And so any monster fulfills that ritual summoning condition with ease. Zork is an eight. And so if it weren't for additional copies of Zork and the Thunder Dragons, it's much more difficult to justify playing a card like this. And that's one of the issues that this deck can possibly run into is that you're having to commit so many cards into one just to lose into the staple of the format that is Sakuretsu armor, right? For what it's worth, so, I think the Mass Beast is cope anyway. Like, imagine being like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The determining factor in this match is going to be if I get to summon the third Zork. Because otherwise, you could just man you or send you into a Zork and spend it for Zork. But no, they're like, two Zorks isn't enough. You need the third Zork. Yep. And that's where the mass beast comes in, baby. <laughs> I actually saw a list that played contract with the abyss so that you, you could, could actually the summon the masked beast as well. It's got 3,200. That's so many. It's big. It's it so can big. hit over Zork. <laughs> it can hit over BLS to be fair. <laughs> like that's oh, pretty Christ. big. What, regardless, oh I'm God. glad we got to show off a deck that uh, was uh, both a ritual deck like Relinquished, but unlike Relinquished is like an all in combo balls to the wall type deck. And uh, right. this is a lot right. of fun. This is the type of like super interruptible high roll janky nonsense that loses to itself that i'm glad we get to show off on this series yeah exactly this is something you would just bring to a tournament just to like play some side games with friends or just something like that i mean it, it's just an absolute blast anything can happen you might lose to your own zork and you just don't give a fuck right
right? That mm. that should just be, you know, how this series is. Like, we just don't give a fuck. Mm. <laughs> so, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of the History of Jank. Looks like I will be adorning the Jank tank for the first time next episode. Not looking forward to that, but hopefully we'll be able to secure it back next time. Let's go ahead and shout out the patrons as always. Big shout out to Shout1317, Moto, Sean Arling Jr., Cameron Smith, and Gayoko, Tim 0 x 3 Iron Ironfang, Pony, Starkey, and Musa, Michael Dente, Par 2, Dan the Man Hoban, Synchro Guy, Ole, Mystic Walk, Sylvia Wild, Stray Conic, Rock Slide, Dolly Wop, Logan Thomas, Peter Gregory, Thomas Elson, Cole, Cole T, Jordan Coons, Caleb and Iron Blazon, Pure Ace, Jesse Wood, True Nerdgasm, Brother Paul, Chris Hood, Lumpy, Neighbor Celeste, David Lou, Rockley, 325, Yusuf Aston, 05, Lane Rogers, Chat Got, Salad Age 216, I side in Gren Maju and Salad, Sky Rose, Dylan Hunter, Brett Harvey, John Two Base, Apathy Astro, Brody Eastwood, Day Sir, Carlos DT, Flannel Daddy, Give Me Speed Order, Give Me Death, MBT's Hard Like, TC Gaming, Matthew Brady, and of course, Edison Format. Thank you so much for watching the video, and we will see you next time.